Hello everybody. So today we're going to be looking at lesson 18, which is on CSS pseudo classes. Uh, my name is Miss Nunez and I am a computer science teacher working with middle school students. We are using the CS Discoveries curriculum on code.org this year and I absolutely love it. It's wonderful. I highly recommend. Um, and it started out very, very easy uh, getting into the, the swing of things, especially with the web development unit. Um, but as things progressively got more challenging, some of my students were struggling a little more. So I'm making these tutorials to help and hopefully they do. Hopefully um, they're, they're here for anyone who wants it. <clears throat> um, so let's get into it. We're going to start with the student resources. So this is lesson 18. Um, there are no handouts or resources, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what we get into. So I'm going to click on the exploration level and let's get started. So this is level one. Um, and it's going to be a what do you notice, what do you wonder. Um, I love the uh, images that they have started using. Clearly ChatGPT or something like it, but they're so fun. I do like them. All right, so what do you notice? What do you wonder? There are some cool things happening with our hyperlinks. Can you spot them? Do this. Hover over the hyperlinks in the preview window. Oh, click on the hyperlink very slowly. Oh. Discuss with your neighbor. What do you notice? What do you wonder? So I definitely noticed that they change colors and even, even the line under them changes colors. Um, and then when you click on it, it changes colors again. So that's interesting. I've seen the whole, you know, change colors when you click on it. I've never seen, like, I've seen, you know, I've seen this part. I've never seen this part before. So this is gonna be interesting. All right. Um, let's get into it in the CSS file. Take a look at the rule sets below the comments that say, check me out. So let's head there. And then we're looking at the comments. All right, check me out, link special styling. So A, hover, color, font size, text decoration style. All right, so I'm assuming this means that when I hover over it, that's what it's gonna change into. And then A, active. All right, so that must mean that when I click on it, when it's active, it's gonna turn into that. So, okay, cool, that's exciting. And the links do work. All right, um, so I'm noticing some really cool things and I'm wondering uh, what we have ahead of us because I am not looking at the uh, teacher guide. I'm not looking at the answer keys. I am figuring this out right there alongside you guys. So we're done with level one. We're gonna press the orange finish button and I will see you on level two. Here we go.